We're trying to raise money for all the kids in Kenya that don't have any money or any supplies, no water. They have to walk many miles every morning and back to get water. Kids, they go up from the morning, the whole village goes up to the spring barefoot, have to walk through obstacles just to get water for their family. They show for life. Um, it is an organization that's a nonprofit and all their money goes to different schools. And what they do is they find schools that are in need for water, don't have a water source. Um, so they start working with the local Kenyans, in this case, um, to build wells and sanitation systems. Two after-school clubs came together to raise money in the H2O walk at Porter Elementary School. The Hope Club, led by fifth grade teacher Amber Mendoza, and the Running Club, led by PE teacher Mr. Buxton, participated in the fundraiser to help children and families in Kenya gain easier access to clean water. The Porter Hope Club is always looking for ways to help others. Hope Club is uh, <laughs> where we gather as many kids they want to help in the community. We go to retirement homes and we go to dog shelters and we try and help um, the people. Students learned about the poverty and unsanitary conditions in Africa before participating in the walk. Ms. Mendoza traveled to Africa and saw the difficult living situations. I went to Kenya this past year as well as the year before, but this past year I was able to go to the school that we funded last year. Then this year we're funding another school. I will be going back in February to see the two schools. So the construction of the school that we sponsored last year and then the, beginning, um, the beginnings of the construction for this year. At Porter, money was raised by collecting coins, selling t-shirts, and securing pledges for the H2O walk. We've been selling shirts for um, $12 to raise money for um, our Kenyan school. We're walking to like symbolize what the Africans do in Africa and Kenya. They walk three to five miles every day to go get clean water and then they walk back three to five miles and we're doing this so we could see what it's like and to raise money because of the t-shirts and we're doing a coin drive. An obstacle course was set up to remind students of the challenges Kenyan students face when they walk miles to get water for their families. In the Mesa Public Schools, Taylor Junior High and Jefferson Elementary School have teamed up with Porter to raise money for the worthy cause. Well, I'm really excited to see that all um, all the students here that are participating. Also, we have community involved. We have some parents. Uh, we have some teachers as well uh, sponsoring it. Congratulations to the Porter Pride Hope Club and Running Club for raising money and helping get clean water to children in Kenya.